If you were born on Mercury or Venus, something truly fascinating would happen. You'd have your first birthday before the day of your birth had finished. An oddity arising from the gradual rotation of these planets, where it takes longer to complete one rotation on their axis than it takes to complete one orbit around the Sun. Even Earth, with its 23.9 hour rotation, seems positively brisk when compared to the 243 day rotation of Venus, or the 58 day rotation of Mercury. But here's the real kicker. Even this seems sluggish when we look at Jupiter's rapid 9.7 hour rotation, which itself is not unique given that all the gas giants have days shorter than Earth's a difference which sets apart the inner and outer planets of the solar system. So let's embark on a journey to unravel the secrets of planetary rotations and answer why the outer planets rotate faster than their inner counterparts. A sidereal day is the time it takes for a planet to complete one full rotation relative to distant stars and using the sidereal day as a baseline on this journey, let's look at the inner terrestrial planets of Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, where we find a diverse range of times to complete that rotation. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, completes a rotation in a leisurely 58.6 Earth days, which when compared to the 243 days of Venus with its thick atmosphere and unique retrograde rotation, it seems positively rapid. Further out, Earth, with its 23.9 hour rotation, boasts the shortest day of the inner worlds and sets the standard for what is considered a day, with Mars completing its day in 24.6 hours. In contrast, the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune display rotational properties that are all faster than all the inner planets. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has the shortest day at 9.7 hours, closely followed by the 10.7 hours of Saturn. Further out, the ice giant Uranus rotates every 17.2 hours, whilst Neptune, the outermost planet, has a day lasting 16.1 hours. In the early stages of our solar system's formation, a vast protoplanetary disk encircled a young sun. Within this disk, materials collapsed and in certain regions coalesced to form the planets. The coalescing of these materials involved a crucial factor, angular momentum, which initiated the planet's rotations. This process was guided by the conservation of the initial angular momentum of the protoplanetary disk. The rotational speeds of these planets was also linked to how the mass was distributed throughout the planet. When mass is concentrated towards the axis of rotation, the rotating body will tend to spin faster, as demonstrated in a microgravity environment on the International Space Station. This is why gas giants like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune exhibit faster spin rates because their massive atmospheres are distributed around a dense core consisting of elements concentrated toward the planet's axis of rotation. In contrast, when inner rocky planets like Earth formed, mass was distributed more evenly and further away from the axis of rotation, resulting in slower spin rates compared to their gas giant counterparts. Being much closer to the Sun, the inner planets experience stronger gravitational forces that significantly influence rotational dynamics over time. These gravitational interactions induce tidal friction within the planets, which act as a break, gradually slowing a planet's rotation. Earth and Mars experience these tidal forces and have slowed from their initial speeds at formation to the relatively stable rotations of 23.9 and 24.6 hours respectively. Mercury, due to its proximity to the Sun, has grappled with strong gravitational forces since its formation, resulting in tidal friction that has acted as a break to its rotation. This process is gradually slowing Mercury's spin and aligning its rotation more closely with its orbital motion around the Sun. 
As a result, Mercury today experiences a phenomenon known as a 3 to 2 spin orbit resonance, completing three rotations on its axis for every two orbits it completes around the Sun, with its rotation having slowed to 58.6 days. At 243 days, Venus boasts the longest day in the solar system. Similar to other inner planets, tidal forces are contributing to slowing down the rotation of the planet. However, what sets Venus apart is its thick atmosphere, which exerts powerful atmospheric drag on the planet's surface. As Venus rotates, the dense atmosphere undergoes drag that facilitates the transfer of angular momentum between the solid body of the planet and its atmosphere. While tidal resonance influenced by the Sun's gravitational forces plays a role in Venus's rotation, prevailing scientific understanding suggests that atmospheric drag is a more dominant factor in determining the planet's remarkably slow 243-day rotation. Beyond the inner planets, the gas giants are still subjected to gravitational forces that induce tidal friction, but the effects are weakened at these distances from the Sun. They have minimal effect in slowing the outer planets, and are so are better able to retain rotational speeds far easier than the inner planets. Planetary rotation is a delicate beast, and there are many contributory factors that have given rise to the spin rates we see in the solar system but the conservation of angular momentum and the gravitational tug of war that results in tidal friction have played a central role in allowing the outer planets to rotate so much faster than their inner counterparts.